Sometimes it is nice to give feedback to our students without assigning them a grade. ECHO has a few different options that allows teachers to create an assignment that will not affect the overall course score for students. Today we will cover three ungraded options, advanced gradebook settings, the use of categories, and the journal activity type. Let's get started by checking out the advanced gradebook settings. If you were to create an assignment that you do not want to count for a grade, using advanced gradebook settings is probably the easiest solution. To get started, enter a course through the editor tool. You can either adjust the settings in an existing assignment or you can create a new assignment. Within the settings tab, under gradebook and submission, you will select this is a gradable activity. This allows students to submit work and allows you to give feedback. Select how you would like students to submit their work and use a one next to any learning outcome as an indicator that these are outcomes they are practicing. There will have to be conversations with students to shift thinking from this is for a grade to these are skills I am practicing. Next, scroll down to find the advanced gradebook options panel. Unselect the box that says include this activity score in the final grade calculation. Even though we made this activity gradable and assigned points as an indicator of skills being practiced, because we uncheck this box, this assignment will not be counted toward the course grade. Let's take a look at how this assignment appears in the gradebook. Within the course gradebook, select a student. We can see that the activity with the adjusted gradebook settings has an X next to it. If we hover over the X, it says excluded from final grade calculation. Let's take a look at this from the student's perspective. When we enter the gradebook as a student, we can see the same X next to the assignment. Again, because there are points associated with this assignment, there will probably need to be a conversation with students around what the X represents when they see it in the gradebook. It simply means this activity was focused on feedback around the learning outcomes identified using a number one, and that these points won't go towards their grade for the course. Here you can see the assignment was given feedback by the course teacher. Students can click on the assignment to read their feedback. Let's move on to using categories as an ungraded option. Before we jump into how to set up categories, let's take a look at how categories are displayed in the gradebook. Because my course has a graded and an ungraded category, when I enter my course gradebook, I have the option to switch between syllabus view and category view. If I select grading categories, I can see all assignments that are in the graded category and all assignments that are in the ungraded category. Let's take a look at how grading categories display for students. When in the gradebook of a course, students, just like teachers, have the option to select the grading category view. Here they will be able to see which assignments of theirs are graded or ungraded. Again, using categories still requires that points be associated, so conversations around this is for a grade or this is for practice will still have to be had with students. Let's jump into setting up categories. To use categories as an ungraded option, enter a course through the editor tool. Click the course settings located in the top toolbar. Categories are different from multi-outcome scoring. By default, category weighting is shut off when the multi-outcome scoring gradebook is turned on. To use categories for ungraded work, we need to import them from a course that has them set up properly. In the top of your course settings, you should see a little card icon that says Apply Template Settings. From the drop-down menu, select the NTN Secondary Course Template 2020. It's okay if you are a middle school or an elementary school teacher. The settings we need will work the same for all grade levels. From the checklist, select Grading Categories Only, because this is the only setting we want to import at this time. At the bottom, select Apply. Scroll down until you find the Grading Categories panel. Here you will see two categories, Include and Exclude. Let's take a second to rename them Graded and Ungraded. Feel free to name them whatever makes sense for your course. When you are finished, click Save in the upper right-hand corner. Now your course is ready to use categories as an ungraded option. Let's take a look at setting up an assignment using the ungraded category. 
You can either edit an existing activity through the editor tool, or you can create a new one. Click on the Settings tab. Again, this activity will need to be set up as graded. You will need to choose how the students are going to submit and place a number one next to any learning outcome students will be practicing with this assignment. From the category dropdown, select Ungraded. Remember, even though there are points associated, because we selected the ungraded category, this assignment will not be calculated in the final course score. Now that we have covered advanced gradebook options and categories, let's take a look at the journal activity type. The journal activity type allows for a back and forth conversation between students and teacher. When the teacher of a course creates a journal activity, each student is given a private place to have written dialogue with their teacher and the teacher has access to each student's journal in one easy place. Students can only see their own journal. A journal can be either graded or ungraded. When left ungraded, there are absolutely no points associated. A journal can last a day, a week, a month, or even a year. If a student is working on something that needs several rounds of feedback, you might use a journal activity throughout the feedback process and then create another assignment for the final product. Let's take a look at creating a journal. Enter a course through the Editor tool. Click the Add To button and select Journal. Give the journal a title. In the content area, add your journal prompt. If there will be many prompts, say one per day, you can add all the prompts at once or you can come back and add more prompts as you'd like. Under the Settings tab, we're going to leave this as an ungraded assignment. When you're finished, click Save in the upper right hand corner. To view all posts students have made, navigate to the Activities tool. Find the journal you have created and click on it. From this drop-down, you will see a list of all students in your course. As students begin posting, you'll start to see numbers appear next to their name, showing how many times they have posted in their journal. Simply clicking on their name will take you to their journal, where you can read their posts, see their work, and give feedback. Let's take a look at a journal from a student's perspective. When entering a course as a student, I can open my journal either from a link in my agenda or from my course table of contents. When I open the journal, the first thing I see is the prompt. I can click New Post to begin writing. You will notice there is not an attachment feature. Students will either have to link their work via Google Drive or copy and paste their work into the journal if using it for feedback purposes. It can also be used as a place for conversation between student and teacher. Students can see their teacher's comments when they enter their journal. When a student posts in their journal and the journal is ungraded, it will not appear in the teacher's needs grading. Although this means a course teacher will need to check journals regularly, it is also a nice way to keep your needs grading pile down. And there you have it, everything you need to know about non-graded options in ECHO. For more information on anything ECHO, visit the ECHO Help Desk at help.echo-ntn.org. For resources on supporting virtual learning, visit the NTN Help Center at helpcenter.newtechnetwork.org and search virtual learning. Need help signing in? Search Sign In.